Hey guys, it's me, Mitch, and uh, today I have a Lego The Hobbit an Unexpected Journey set review. This is set 79001, Escape from Rookwood Spiders. It's ages 8 to 14, has 298 pieces, and retails for $29.99 US. So in front here, we've got a picture of a battle scene. This is special The Hobbit Trilogy preview set, which means it's based off of the second, or third, probably second from what I know, movie. Uh, you got four minifigs there, an actual size of one of the minifigs up there, some caution stuff there, some foreign languages there, and the back is where the interesting part is. Oh, we've got some copyright down there. Uh, it shows all the weapons in the set, which is pretty cool. Um, then play features and all that cool stuff. So, I'm just going to open up my knife here. Mm -hmm. Um, so let's crack this open. Okay, let me just fold this up. There we go. Okay. So, uh, let's open these little flaps up. Heck, this one's folded totally like inward. Oh, there's a sneak peek. Here we go. Ooh, bags of pieces. And that's it. So put the box back here. First thing we got here is the instruction manual. Let's just take a quick look at that. Um, goes up to page 64. That gives you your two pages of pieces inventory. Advertisement for the board game. Advertisement of all the Hobbit minifigures, which is pretty cool. Um, and we got our advertisement for some of the sets. Well, almost all the other sets. And then... Advertisement for the website and uh, advertisement for these sets, which are coming out very soon. These Lord of the Rings sets. Um, I'm very excited about those, by the way. Win! Which, uh, yeah. Win is the least unique thing about this instruction, about that instruction manual. So, uh, yeah. So we got bag one all up in here. And bag two. Let's see if the instruction manual tells us what each bag builds. Ooh, it does. Okay, so let's see. Bag one builds the elves and the spiders. Bag two builds the trees and the dwarves. So, let's time lapse build this set. So uh, here's the completed set, guys. i uh, just going to give you a quick look at the extra pieces. We've got a pick a cup here. Quite a few, if you ask me. Uh, we have some one-by-one -one round plates. Some one-by-one -one normal plates. A couple technical pieces. A dagger. Of different spikes. Oh, hold on. This is an extra. This is not an extra. Um, a mushroom cap, a cheese slope, a vine, and a button. 
So uh, let's move on to the minifigures. So here's the first minifigure, guys, and this is the uh, elf Tariel. Tariel, don't know. She's from the Second Hobbit movie, which hasn't come out yet. But uh, that's why this is called a preview set. So yeah, um, she does have the elf hair in like a orangish color, with the elf ears, and uh, pretty stern looking face. Got two daggers, which I believe are the same as the Dagger of Time from Prince of Persia. I don't have any Prince of Persia sets. But now I have that dagger. Um, she has some exclusive torso printing and some nice leg printing. Um, very nice, if you ask me. Very nice uh, printing there. And um, on her other face, she does have a bit of an angry look to her. So there is Tariel. And uh, also, guys, Tariel does have some back printing. So here's the first of two dwarves in the set, and this is Feely. Very awesome. Has two silver daggers. Um, some nice long hair. Um, and some really cool front torso printing with two belts and a strap there. And then got some nice front face printing. Very happy. And then angry face in the back and a quiver. And then he has let's see some nice back printing and he does have short legs. And the final minifig for this set is Keeley the Dwarf. Uh, he does come with a more normal sized bow. Same here as Feely, but in black. Um, does have two faces, a serious face and, a, and, and an angry face with some facial hair on either side. And um, it's got a strap there. Exclusive torso print, of course. Because each dwarf has a unique outfit, as far as I can tell. And then... There is the back printing, and I'll, just like Keeley, he has short, uh, yeah, like Feely, sorry, he has short legs. So here we have the second minifigure, guys. This is Legolas Greenleaf. Uh, he does have an exclusive torso print and uh, pearl gold arms, which is really cool. Same leg print as Tariel. Um, got a bow there, and a um, uh, serious face there. He's got blonde elf hair, and then other side he has an angry look and then on the back he has some more awesome printing so here's the first part of the set guys these are this is the uh, Merkwood spiders themselves what the set is really named after um, they do have click joints on the legs and such pretty much at the knees they have click joints but they basically just are meant to be like that, and then they have a click joint at the back. Uh, not a click joint, a normal joint at the back there. I'm just going to move the second one out of the way. Yes, there are two in the set. So, yeah. does have fangs, and then these eyes right there are one by one round plates, and they glow in the dark, as you can see there if I turn off the lights. And um, these legs up top here can move, and uh, nothing really on the bottom. So there are your Merkwood spiders. Also included in the set are two trees. Here's the first one. Not much to it. Uh, got a bow right there, a skull, a bone, and a vine, and that's pretty much it. Got the second tree. Oh boy. Uh, you've got more glow in the dark, one by one round plates down there, and uh, printed mushroom caps right there. No stickers in the set, by the way. Um, got a spider web with a spider on it. Small spider. And uh, some skulls there. And a bone, and a few vines scattered throughout, as well as some dark red leaves up there. Now, what you're supposed to do? Oh, I forgot. Um, there's a play feature here. You take this spider, which is the glow in the dark one, and uh, you press this red button back here, and uh, it's supposed to fly out. But oh, fail! It wasn't the correct way. Yeah. It works okay, but there we go. And uh, what you're supposed to do, for the big play feature of the set, is take these dwarves here and just stick them in these little pouches up here. They're very soft material. Um, think Series 7 minifigures, uh, Bride, the thing, Veil, or whatever the heck it's called. And uh, there we go. And then we have this brown piece right here. You pull it out, and the tree falls over. That's pretty much the whole gimmick there. And the 
little pouches do slide on like that. I'm just gonna take Feely back out. So uh, there are your trees. I'm just gonna give you a quick look at what happens if you pull it without out without the drawers in the pouches. You have to knock it over yourself. So just keep that in mind, guys. You have to have some sort of weight in the pouches. So uh, there are your trees. So overall, guys, this is a really awesome set. 298 pieces, three dollars perfect price. Enough said. Um, but four minifigures, awesome. You get two dwarves, two elves, and you also get the uh, two Mirkwood spiders, which I'm really glad you got two instead of one. Um, the trees are really cool. Uh, got some nice pieces in there, and uh, the playability features are pretty nice. And uh, I love these little pieces. They're so soft. And, um, yeah, overall, I recommend this to any fan of the, the Middle Earth or Lego or anything like that. So, please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Bye, guys.